Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree, and uh, today we're talking about my bison ranch dreams. First things first, don't even mention Brokeback Mountain. I've never seen it. This has nothing to do with Brokeback Mountain. I've never even seen the movie. I have no problems with it. I just, it's not my kind of movie. I'm not into you know, romance and dramas and that kind of thing. I'm into sci-fi, horror, action, adventure movies. It's just not typically my thing. Obviously, I'm transgender, and I'm bisexual, and, well, biromantic, asexual. Yeah, I'm in the LGBT community, so I have no problems with Brokeback Mountain, but I've never seen the movie, so this has nothing to do with Brokeback Mountain. But my... One of, one of, one of, here comes my cat. I gotta pet him. I don't know if you can see him, here's his tail. <laughs> one of my dreams was to own a bison ranch in Montana. Now, let's get into where that comes from before I get into what I would like, or would have liked, had I had that, had, that, had it worked out. I was born in the Wild West, in the desert, in sagebrush infest, sagebrush infested southern Idaho, in a city called Twin Falls you've never heard of and never been to. This is as old west as you can get. I mostly grew up in a little dinky dust bowl town that you don't even believe is called what I'm going to say it's called because it is, Jackpot, Nevada, that is as old west as you can get. And there were ranchers and cowboys fucking everywhere. Everybody I knew was either a rancher, a cowboy, slash cowgirl, or a wannabe. And to y'all Texans, real fucking cowboys. Not y'all Kmart cowboys, alright? Kmart went out of business. Move on. Get over it. Do something else with your life, you fake-ass wannabes. Fucking Texans. No. Real ranchers live in the real fucking West. Colorado, Montana, Idaho, California, Nevada, Arizona. That's the fucking West. Texas is the fucking, I don't know, half-assed, half-southern, half-Midwest. Fuck off, Texas. You're not cowboys. You're just a bunch of rodeo clown wannabes. All right, now let's get that out of the way. All right. So, yeah. I went to the rodeo as a kid all, all the goddamn time. Horses, cows, cattle. You know, this was a big part of my existence. You couldn't drive anywhere in Nevada without having to pull over and wait for a cow to cross the street. Uh, so yeah, I was like, yeah, cool. It would be nice to own a ranch. But one day, because I had a friend who had an elk ranch... And I had a friend who owned a regular old, you know, cattle ranch. And, you know, real beef. Not that fucking shitty-ass Angus beef the Texans are trying to convince people is good when it ain't. Anyways. Yeah, real beef. But anyways. None of my friends owned a bison ranch, but I had one friend who I went to high school with whose family owned a casino... And he let me work in his casino from time to time. Uh, and he had a restaurant. This sold bison hamburgers. And they were the best fucking hamburger you'll ever eat in your life. And so, at some point in my life, I got this idea that I would want to go to... And I settled on Montana for a reason. We'll come back to it. I wanted to go to Montana and start a bison ranch. Partially because, yeah, I thought it would be cool to live off the land, to have a ranch, raise bison, but also because, like, you know, try to give something back to the Native American culture because bison are, you know, not quite extinct, but they came close to it. And I figured I could raise bison and maybe, you know, donate some to the various tribes or do something. And also, it's a symbol of, you know, Native Americanism. That, that, that could be, you know, I thought it would be cool. You know, plus tasty fucking beef. Well, not beef, meat. Tasty fucking meat. 
You know, so I was like, yeah, that'd be pretty fucking cool. You know. Why'd I pick Montana? Well, two reasons. One, uh, wide open spaces, and there's plenty of land in Montana. And two, have you ever seen the movie Short Circuit? Well, do you remember at the beginning of this video I said I'm a sci-fi nerd? Yeah, I've seen Short Circuit. And when he leaves wherever the fuck that movie takes place, he goes to Montana. So as a kid, I just had it in my head that if you want to escape from life, you go to Montana. That's all there is to it. Now, why did I bring up Brokeback Mountain? Because I know as soon as I say I want to own a bison ranch in Montana, people are going to be like, oh yeah, just like the dudes on Brokeback Mountain. I, I don't. I've never seen the fucking movie. And that's literally all I know about it is there are two cowboys from Montana. Well, gay cowboys. Well, kind of gay. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I've never fucking seen it. It's not my kind of movie. But I know people are going to immediately make that connection because I'm trans and they're, they're going to be like, oh yeah, dude, gay dude, or whatever. You know, I'm not a gay dude. I'm a trans woman, but whatever. Anyways, that's why I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, and I will block you if you tweet or comment Brokeback Mountain or reference it in the comments. So don't even do it. Alright? Don't test me. You can look at my block list. It's a mile long. Anyways, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Insofar as you're a good person or you're, you're a cool person. The assholes, I don't care. You, you go, go be an asshole somewhere else. Anyways, I don't know, whatever. Stay cool.